Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. We're inside this dome stadium for today's matchup between the Oregon Ducks and the Georgia Bulldogs. Oregon is looking to air it out in this one, and their favorite target is none other than this wide receiver. And in a game like this, we've got to look for an edge, and he gives them that edge that they're looking for. Well, you know who I'm going with. This one's easy. I'm picking the Bulldogs. They'll get the ball here at the 17. First and 10. Thompson with three wide receivers. Thompson drops to throw. He's looking. He's going left. Almost picked off. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass. Especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Second and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He unloads it. Complete. Smith with a takedown. And they get five yards from that completion. Third and five coming up. Ball of the 22. Thompson lines up in the shotgun. Steps up. Over the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Barry punts it, and it's a good one. Number five fields it to 30. And we'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll start this drive at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Nickel defense, drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Picked off by the linebacker. That interception will be credited to the linebacker. Way to come down with that football. That was not an easy play to make. Well, that's just great hands for a linebacker. He looks pretty good out there catching the football. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. They come out in a nickel. Thompson back to throw. Looks. He's drilled as he throws. They almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Thompson is back in the gun. Thompson hands it off, tries to shoot. And he's tackled. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. As you can see, they have really had some difficulty getting the ball down the field. You got that right, Brad. These guys have better step it up and execute than they have the ball. It's going to be a long day. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Bunch formation. And they got him for a loss. Third and five coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Throws it to the outside. And he came down with it. What a catch. Hey, coach, was that a fine pass play or what? Uh, oh, what is right. This young man is a complete package of quarterback. He knows where his receivers will be, and he gets a quick release to them in a big, big hurry. the PAT. With about three minutes of play remaining here in the first quarter, our score, Oregon, seven, Georgia, nothing.
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number five, back deep to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number five, fields it in the end zone. Yoo-hoo. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 20. Georgia lines up in a double tight set. Might have been some early movement up front. Death goal. Both start on the offense. There was movement on the offensive line before the ball was snapped. That's one where the young offensive lineman was too anxious to spring into his block. First and 15 now. Ball on their own 15. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Batted ball. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, that ball should have been picked off there. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 15. Bennett with three wide receivers. Bennett steps back to pass. He lets it go. The senior makes the catch. A one-yard loss. Oregon has one of the toughest defenses we've seen. I agree 100%. Just look at what they've done so far. Some very impressive numbers. Now, this attacking defense is very, very athletic and also well coached. That's why they're in the top 10. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 23 fields it at the 27. Lost the ball. Fumble. They'll, They'll go to work at the 28. First and 10. Thompson lines up in the shotgun. Play action, throw, and it's caught. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and ten, ball on their own 28. They come out of a nickel, back to pass. Got hit as he threw. Incomplete. Ferguson, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 28. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Drop back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking for his man. And he's got it. Going the other way now. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Take over at the 15. And the snap goes to the back. He jukes. Hill brings him down. No gain. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 15. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back, steps up, he's looking, throws this one out to the right, and it falls incomplete. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it, because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. Third and 10, ball on their own 15. Georgia lines up in a shotgun set, looks, throws it to the outside. There he goes, the 50. 
at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, brought down. That's how you get a first down, Coach. They took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. Set up in the gun. Bennett again, but he's hit hard. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed them. Shotgun, looking, wants to throw outside, and it's incomplete. That pass ball's incomplete in the end zone. Chalk that one up to the pressure in the quarterback's face. Absolutely. They had a tremendous rush coming in at him, and it was all he could do to avoid the sack. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up. And it's through the uprights. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Georgia is ready to kick it away. Kicks it deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll get the ball here at the 25. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. Gives it up the middle. He jukes it. Big opening. Smith with a takedown. A 10-yard gain. It's second and inches. Ball on their own 35. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Up this one off. Incomplete pass. He had it knocked loose before he could control it. Just a great play here by the defender to force the issue. Third down and short. Ball on the 35-yard line. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The offense couldn't get anything going that time. No, they couldn't. They really looked out of sync there, and they're going to have to make some adjustments to come back next time out. The Ducks line up to punt. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number five takes it to 20. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Terrell brings him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down.
Georgia is ranked near the bottom of the barrel as far as offense goes. Well, the numbers don't lie. They just can't move the ball. Bennett is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. It's deflected. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. It's a very physical and athletic defensive front, and they're more than capable of making plays like that. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. McIntosh takes the handoff. They'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 47. Bennett lines up in the shotgun. Pass. Sewell comes away with a sack. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Georgia ready to put this one away. Punts the ball away. Number 23 takes it to 15. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll, They'll go to work at the 19. At the 19 line. First and 10. Hey. They'll bring in their dime package. He steps up, wants to throw outside. Got him on the run. And he's taken down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. And he makes a diving interception. What a play. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. Excellent field position to start the drive. Bennett is back in the gun. Big opening. The 10. And he will score. Nice ball, nice blocking, and an even better run. Those guys up front must have been hitting those sleds pretty hard in practice. The only reason this kid was able to show his big playability was because the offensive lineman executed their assignments to perfection. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Georgia 10, Oregon 7. Number 96 is lined up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You get excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Six DBs in the lineup. Thompson, back to pass, throws to the middle, and down he goes. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 38. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Wants to throw outside. And it's picked off. And they come up with another turnover. Yeah, the defense is playing very opportunistic out there today. That was their third interception of the game. They'll 
set up shot at the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. Georgia comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Fires. Batted ball. Almost intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Incomplete. Third and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Bennett set to go to the air. Looks. Wants to throw outside. Got it. And they bring him down. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Bulldog. Line up with three wide. And he's tackled. Georgia calls a timeout. Second and eight coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. It's a bad snap. He's got an opening. Who's shaking bank move. Bridget with a takedown. Georgia takes a timeout. We're in the red zone. Let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. Bennett lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. And now he's going to improvise. Tackle. Guys, when we were at practice this week, you kind of got the feeling that they might run a little no huddle. In fact, here it comes. Nickel defense. The spike will stop the clock. Georgia will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll bring him down. The big fella took it and plowed for the first down. He was just following his blocks, and hey, they're moving the sticks. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll give it off here. Touchdown, Georgia! And that's his second rushing touchdown of the first half. And the head coach has to love the way this kid is running the football. the PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He hits a booming kick. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Thompson drops 
back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And they make the stop. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 50 yards on the spot foul. Oregon calls a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Thompson is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. Second and ten. Ball on the 31. And the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. Thompson drops to throw. He lobs it right side. And it falls incomplete. No catch that time. And he is last. He's right now to try to bulk up more because, man, they could get hurt. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 31 yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Drop back to pass with the throw. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. The field goal unit lines up. This will make it a one-score game. The kick is away. It's long enough. No good. He missed it to the right. over at the 31 yard line. The Bulldog set up in the gun. Bennett back to throw. Looking over the middle. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Nickel defense. He drops back, steps up, he's looking, and that one's fallen incomplete. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. Oh, that Kirk, he was under pressure, unbelievable pressure. Georgia sets up with four receivers. Back to pass, he steps up, looks, throws this one out to the right. Batted away. You can't expect to get a good drive when you're unable to complete any passes. That's exactly why this one didn't get him any points. Georgia, ready to punt this one away. He punts it. Number 23 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 27. A missed field goal was the result of the last drive. We'll have to see if they can come through with something this possession. They'll start this drive at the 27-yard line. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. They go with a run. And pass the tackler. And down he goes. Oregon takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. With the throw. Complete. Davis lays it on him. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Georgia 17, Oregon 7.
Oregon will be kicking off to start the second half. Number five, back to return. He sends this one deep. Number five fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 25-yard line. At the 25-yard line. First and 10. The Bulldogs come out in the shotgun. McIntyre gets the call. Brought down. Four yards on that play. Second and six coming up here. Ball of the 29. Georgia lines up for the shotgun set. Throws. And it's caught. And now he's got room to run. And they push him out. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's going right. They'll bring him down. About a seven yard pickup that time on the pass. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 50. Bennett lines up in the shotgun. McIntyre on the handoff. Oh, and nailed on that one. The running back gets two on the carry. Third and one. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Georgia lines up in a goal line set. Just what he needed on that one. My friends, that's right. You gotta love those short down situations. It's first and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They line up in the shotgun. Bennett on the option. And down he goes. A gain of a yard on the quarterback keeper. Second and nine, ball on the 46-yard line. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. He tosses it short. There he goes. Bridget brings him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. He can't miss. And they make the stop. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Nickel defense. Bennett, active pass. He's been perfect on this drive. And he's drilled. Nothing gained on the play. So it's second and ten. This is the tenth play of this drive. The defense lines up with six DB. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. A little juke. And he's hit hard. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. 
The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled. Though the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Bennett with three wide receivers. They go with the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And they stop him on the option. Well, that's a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield and breaking that play up. Second and 11. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Nickel defense. He's going right. Someone got a hand on it. Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock it away. His job is, and he did it perfectly in that play. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. The Bulldog set up in the gun. Bennett steps back to pass. Steps up. Spin move. No one open, so he's going to run. Rodgers with a takedown. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Georgia 17, Oregon 7. Number 96 lines up for the field goal. The kick is up. And he got it. Here's the Pontiac Drive Summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Georgia to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Franklin fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 25. The Ducks with four receivers. Nicks to the air on first down. Rose brought down. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 27. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Nick still has it. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Nix is back in the gun. He drops back. He can scoot. And now he's going to run. He lost the ball, and the defense is on it. The 10. Touchdown! And that is not what they had in mind. It was simply a bad play. Turnovers are bad at home, but when you add to the fact that it results in points for the opposition, uh-oh, that will kill you every time. And he hits the PAT. So with just over four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Georgia 27, Oregon 7. Georgia is ready to kick it away. He kicks it. Franklin fields it in the end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. 
They'll take over at the 25. Nix lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Batted ball. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. In second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Six DBs in the lineup. Nick, back to pass. He steps up across the middle. Buller brings him down. That's a seven-yard gain. Down. And they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense. And he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Nix is back in the gun. Nix running the option. And he's drilled. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it there. Georgia has one of the top defenses in the nation. Have a look at the stats. Well, I'll tell you what, this whole defense seems to be full of all Americans. No doubt about it, these kids are the real deal, my friend. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So another third down facing the offense, and this one is third and long. Nick has four receivers lined up here. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Number five fields it at the 11. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They'll set up shot at the 21-yard line. The defense will set the line of scrimmage. Makes a move. He tries to spin. Williams brings him down. About eight yards there. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Takedown. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 30 yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Him up. They'll bring him down. 
Buckerke managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. There's a flag down, and here's the call. It's first in a mile. Ball in their own 22. Second and long, ball on the 20-yard line. The Bulldogs come to the line with their jumbo package. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Georgia faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2006. But until then, our final score in this one, Georgia 27, Oregon 27.